Hi, in this video I will talk about tracking mode. Tracking is useful when you need to control both channels simultaneously, when you need to provide symmetrical power output to supply some operational amplifiers and so on. In our case tracking mode is used just for that, to control simultaneously both channel outputs. And it's not like with some other power supplies where tracking mode is used to simplify connection in series or parallel. For such type of connectivity we have coupling mode which is described in another video. Entering tracking mode it's possible from any of channel settings, channel 1 or channel 2. We need to go to settings and under advanced settings we have tracking control. Current status is off and on. And now we can start with programming both channels simultaneously. For example, if I want to have 12 volts or let's say 2 amp or if I want to switch it on and off simultaneously. Important thing for tracking mode is settling time. Ideally the both channel will be set to a new programmed value in the same time but that's not possible and we tried to decrease that delay between channel 1 and channel 2 as much as possible. We'll measure now a setting of new value from 12 volt to 1 volt and see what is the difference between changing on the first and the second channel. Okay, now it will require some cursor. Okay. So it's about seventy two microseconds. We can also try to see what will happen on when we shut down. How fast is that transition. It's a 430 microsecond, well below 1 millisecond. We can also check how it looks like when we wake up from standby mode. It's about 200 and 280, 240, again well below 1 millisecond. Another important thing what we need to, to check when power supply is in tracking mode is how some of the protection works. Let's say that we would like to activate overcurrent protection. Yes, and so it's set to 2 amp and we need to increase voltage, maybe 25 will be more than enough. Okay, what we see here. The voltage is started to to rise for some to some higher value, but overcurrent protection tree because in that moment we have two amp, and that delay it's something what is set. It it was set here 
to be 20 millisecond we can test that also to see is that okay yeah, it's about 21 and as we can see both channel was switched off almost immediately or with that small delay we can test some other protection let's say our temperature protection first we'll put a lot of current temperature we have let's say we'll see if set it on 47 immediately and we just need to wait and as you can see both channel is almost immediately switched off this is all about power supply in tracking mode thank you for your attention and goodbye